This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 3, Number 9. Here we're going to look at the meaning of decimal exponents. Okay? So Part A says express 0 0.7 as a fraction. Then rewrite 10 to the power of 0 0.7 using this fraction. Okay, well I know that since 10, I mean since 7 here is in the tens place, 0 0.7 is equal to 7 divided by 10, right? I can check that answer by putting in my calculator 7 divided by, te by 10 and I get 0.7, okay? So that then I want to go ahead and rewrite 10 to the 0 0.7 power. Using this fraction means I want to write it as 10 to the power of 7 over 10. All right, let's go on to part B. Part B says we can use the power law for exponents to break up this fraction into two factors. Find the value of C so that 10 to the 0 0.7 is equal to 10 to the C to the power of 7. All right. So, so far we have 10 to the power of 0 0.7, I'm just copying this, equals 10 to the power of 7 over 10, right? Well, we can break this up. We could break up this fraction such that we have 10 to the power of 7 over 1 times, right? I'm going to make 7 a little longer. 7 over 1 times 1 over 10, right? And that's the same thing. It doesn't, the order that we multiply doesn't matter. That's the same thing as 10 to the power of 1 over 10 times 7 over 1. So I'm getting closer to what we have here because that's the same thing as putting this in parentheses and saying 10 to the power of 1 over 10 to the power of 7 over 1 or just 7 because 7 over 1 is 7, right? So what is C here? C is equal to 1 over 10. Okay, let's go on, right? Let's continue. Part C says to rewrite your answer to part B as a certain root of 10 raised to a certain power by copying and filling in the blanks of square the nth root. So this is not negative. This means a blank. So some root here of 10 to the power of something, all right? So if we look here at our answer to part B, right, we have 10 to the 1 tenth power. Well, we know that that 1 tenth power means the tenth root, right? Whenever we have <clears throat> a 1 over some power, right, as an exponent, we have 1 over n. That's the nth root. So we have 1 over 10. That's the nth root. So 10 goes along with the root of 10. 10 is the base. To the power of 7. So over here, we still have 7. Okay? So let's go ahead and write that. 10 to the 1 tenth power raised to 7 is equal to the 10th root of 10 raised to the power of 7 which is the same as the 10th root of 10 to the 7 power. All right? So let's move on to part D. Part D says, why is it generally better to take the root first? Okay, so take the, the root first, especially when you're working without a calculator. Well, they're comparing when do we take the root versus the exponent, right? So why would we go ahead and take the 10th root before we take to the 7th power? Well, the reason that we take the root keeps, it, it will keep the number smaller, right? We could do it in either order because, remember here, 7 over 1 times 1 over 10 is the same thing as 1 over 10 times 7 over 1, right? But if we went and took 10 to the power of 7, we're going to get a huge number because that's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, you know, 7 times. So doing the root first 
keeps the numbers that we're calculating smaller. Without a calculator, smaller numbers are much easier to manage than if we're talking about millions and billions um, in size for our number. Okay? So let's keep going. Part E, do the calculation on your graphing calculator. Okay, so right here they're talking about our calculation is, is this, right? Is 10 to the power of 1 tenth raised to the power of 7, right? This is what we're doing. So let's bring out our calculator. How do we do this? Remember, it's 10 to the power of, in parentheses, 1 over 10. And we need to put this whole thing in parentheses and put it to the power of 7. So 10 to the power of 1 over 10 to the power of 7. Okay, putting that in my calculator, we get approximately 5 point, I'm going to put all these digits, 0, 1, 1, 8, 7, 2, 3, 3, 6, right? That's what we get in our calculator um, when we plug this in. All right, so F says to go ahead and calculate with our calculator 10 to the power of 0 0.7. So 10 to the power of 0 0.7, and what do we get? Oh, look, these are the same. So 10 to the power of 0 0.7 is equal to approximately 5.01187233.6. And it says, how does this... How does it compare with the previous one? Well, look at them. They are the same. Same as part E, right? Exactly the same. All right, so there's two more parts. Let's go on to part G. Part G then says, got to scroll up. Part G says, Reshma notices that 10 to the power of 0 0.7 is close to 5. And Reshna's right, it's actually 5.011, right? So it's really close to 5. Khalil knows she could get even closer by using more decimal places in the exponent. Okay. Use guess and check to find p to the nearest 0 0.001 so that 10 to the p is as close to 5 as possible. So 10 to the p is close to 5. We want it to be approximately 5. And then we're going to go ahead and use guess and check to find p. So um, let's go ahead and start. I'm going to say, well, I know 10 to the power of 0.7 is equal to that. So I'm going to try, what if I say 10 to the power of 0.71? Okay. I'm going to get even bigger, right? So if I say p is um, 0.71, then my value 10 to the p is, I'm just making a table here, is 5.12861384. All right, so I'm going to, instead of getting bigger, right, I'm going to try and go from 0.7 and go a little smaller. So I'm going to try 10 to the power of 0.69, right? And this is guess and check. So you kind of just keep trying different numbers until you get exactly what you want. So here, if I put in 0.69, I get 4.89778819.4. And that's even smaller than what I want, right? Because I want it to be closer to 5. So let me go ahead and try um, just different values. 10 to the power of, well, what if I put in 0.7, because it says to the smallest to the nearest 0 0.001, so let's say 0 0.701. Okay, so a little above, and I'm getting, I'm still getting bigger than um, further away from 5. So if I make P.701, my output is 5.0234258955. All right, remember. Let me even write 0.7, right? If I had, when I had 0.7, I had 5.01187 So our goal is to get as close to 5 as possible. So far, we went further away from 5 and still further away from 5. 
what if I put 0.699, right? Just a little bit less than 0.7. Oops, I need to go ahead and take 10 to the power of 0.699, right? And then, oh, that's a little closer. So if I put in 0.699, I get 5.0034535, right? That's closer to five than any number so far. So let me go ahead and try again, 10 to the power of 0.698, just a little less. And there I'm going um, further away from five, right? 0.698, I get 4.9888444875. And so far, this is my closest value um, to five. Right, so I'm going to stop there because it says to the nearest 0 0.001, and 0 0.001 is that place. And I know if I go up anymore, it's further away, and down, it's further away. So I'm going to let p then is equal, let p equal to 0.699. All right. So the last part of this problem is h. In a flash of brilliance, Reshma suddenly knows how to get several more decimal places instantly. Okay, what keys can what keys can she press on her calculator to do this? Okay, so what are we trying to do? We're asking the question: 10 to the p is equal to 5, and we're trying to calculate what p is. So Reshma already knows a little bit about. Um, calculators or at least math right because she's been she must know something about logs because we know what we're trying to do is saying we're, we're asking the question 10 to what power right 10 to the power p so 10 to what power is equal to 5 right so when we're doing that we're really just saying well we're, we're asking 10 to what power is equal to 5 that's the same as log right base 10 um of 5, right? That's the same as asking what this is. So if I were to go ahead and put on my calculator log, and remember log by default is base 10, right? This is saying 10 to what power equals 5, and that's what p is, so this is equal to p, right? So log base 10 of 5 is equal to 0 0.6989700043, right? So the keys that she can use on her calculator is just log of 5, right, to get P equal to real, a lot of decimal places, right, to be 0 0.69897000043. All right. So Reshna is brilliant. She realizes that 10 to the p equals to 5 is the same as saying log base 10 of 5, right? And that will give you what p is. Okay, so this ends for us um, looking at the meaning of decimal exponents, CPM Precalculus, Chapter 3, Number 9.